Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl from Evangu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something that you guys want us to react to just let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to read a big shout out to the person that suggested this today we're reacting to our home library part three islamic books i don't know why i was starting with part three but without wasting time let's get into the video about the famous Al-Qaeda to An-Nuraniya. This is one of the most classic uh, books, if you want to call it a book. It's not just a book actually, it's a book with a CD that is meant to teach you the Arabic alphabet properly. So you can first learn how to read the book of Allah properly, and then obviously you'll be able to learn how to read the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam properly. Properly. And then it is meant for children ages four and above. Let me just give you a little bit of a glimpse of this particular book. So look, الدرس الأول حروف الهجاء المفردة ألف باء تاء ثاء جيم حاء خاء دال ذال راء زاء سين شين صاد ضاء طاء ضاء يو سي إيه 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 I don't know how to pronounce it say no problem the CD will help you learn the audio so you can hear and execute and then look at the درس الثاني right then you're gonna learn لا ملف باء ألف uh, you know, إلى آخره تاء ثاء يا ألف and then you will continue to improve ألف لام ميم ألف لام ميم صاد ألف لام را some of them are obviously related to the Quran then they go on to insert the diacritical signs aka الحركات so you have فتحة ضمة كسرة and then look look the kids will start learning the actual word أبدا أحد أخذ أذنة most of these if not all of them actually appear in the Quran. Qasam appears in the Quran. Lumaza appears in the Quran. Lahab, Masad, Nakhira, Wasak, Waqab, Walad. All of these which appear in the Quran. And then you go on and on and on. And look, look, look. As the children advance towards the end, they give you a lot of examples. But you should be able then to read like this. مَرُّ رَبِّ مُدَّتْ حُقَّتْ خَفَّتْ تَبَّتْ تَخَلَّتْ قَدَّمَتْ And it trains your mind. As you go through the book, it trains your mind. So when you're done with all this and you open a book of Allah and you try to read the Qur'an, then you will be able to read it uh, comfortably and easily. And you don't feel this pressure that the people face when trying to learn the book of Allah. We highly recommend Al-Qaeda to an nuraniya for your children to learn Arabic. For you to learn Arabic, for you to know how to recite the Quran properly, for reverts and new Muslims. This is old but gold. If we find the link, inshallah, we will drop it in the description below. That's it. This is the Arabic section. But before that, these are trophies that the kids won in soccer. And when you deal with Muslims, uh, when the Muslim gives you the trophy, they make sure that the head is chopped off. Isn't that cute? Beautiful. Uh, this is where the treasure is, baby, baby. Without the Arabic language, you are in a disadvantage, brother and sister. I've said this a million times and I'll say it again. If you don't know Arabic, you are in disadvantage. All of this treasure, all of this treasure is, for the most part, not available in English. Not even chapters of it, not even sentences of it. Allahumma barely excerpts here and there. All this mass amount of information is fundamentally in Arabic. Where do I start? I mean, Arabic may be irrelevant to a lot of you, but you have the Kitab al Imam al Nawawi, you have Ighathat al Lahfan fi Masa'id al Shaytan for Imam ibn al Jawzi, you have Qasas al Anbiya, you have Sharh Zad al Mustaqla Kitab al Tahara, Sheikh Muhammad Bakhtar al Shinkiti. I used to attend these classes with the Sheikh here in Jeddah, well, there in Jeddah, now in Riyadh. Uh, we have Riyad al Salihin. We have Al Qawl al Balighi fi Tahdir min Jamaat al Tabligh. Tabligh Jamaat. A special book was written, <coughs> excuse me, to warn against them. Um, al Siyasa al Sharia. 
Al Aqid al Wasitiya, another version of the book, Sheikh Sal al Bataymiya. Taysir al Karim al Rahman, the Tafsir of Sheikh Abdul Rahman al Sir al Saadi, have more than one version of it. Uh, we have Al Amal al Salih, Jami' al Imam al Tirmidhi, we have Fatawa Arkan al Islam, Jami' al Mutun, all of the Mutuns that you can imagine are in one book. So usually Talib al-Ilm, the student of knowledge, he memorizes, uh, you know, the Matan. The Matan is the, the original text that the author uh, wrote uh, before it was explained by other people and before they've done the revision and so on and so forth. So basically everything you can imagine uh, is available. See, Matl Aqid al subhanAllah. How could I open possibly on Aqid al Because I love this book, it, it's everywhere in my life. This is the original book and if you look at it, it's actually... Uh, not that big. Look, before you go to the Aqidah Tahawiyah, Al Aqidah Al Wasitiyah is only this much. Look, look, look. The original book is from page like 295 to page 321. Around 40 pages, but now with the Sharh, we, it took us five years to cover the whole book. SubhanAllah. Jami' Bayan Al Ilm Fadlih, The Importance of Knowledge. Uh, Sharh Usul I'tiqad Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah Very good book about the Aqeel of Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah uh, The Targhib Wal Targhib One of the famous books also uh, About the Hadith which you know Encourage you to go to Jannah And a Hadith that will warn you against going to Jahannam The famous book of Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah Iqtida' Al-Sirat Al-Mustaqeem Limukhalifat Ashab Al-Jaheem Yani basically straying on a straight path Staying on a straight path to oppose the people of the hellfire, basically uh, about how Muslims follow the Jews and the Christians in everything. Uh, again, the tafsir of Ibn Kathir over here. Uh, we're skipping a lot of books because of time. Sharh al Mumti' by Sheikh Muhammad bin Saleh al Uthaynin, Rahimahullah. Sharh al Mumti' Rizal al Mustaqna. This is also a very, very, look at this big series of books, mashallah, tabarakallah. Uh, Fiqh Sunnah, this book has some issues. I have some books that were given to me that have issues. So if you see something that is problematic, don't panic and don't freak out. This book right here, Allahu Akbar. This book, Habibi, Mukhtasar al ulul al-Ali al ghaffar The book of Al-Ibam uh, al-Zahabi uh, to refute all of the, and with the tahqiq of Shaykh al-Albani, rahmahullah. All of those who, uh, you know, claim Allah is everywhere. This is a book that compiles all the say, statements of the uh, uh, Salaf uh, that Allah Azza wa Jal is in a state of transcendence above His creation. Jalla Jalaluhu wa taqaddasat asma'uhu. Again, we have many Riyad Salihin. This book I used to teach at one point, Sharh al Ajrumiya. This is a book that I learned uh, with also Shay Abu Mujahid Farid Abdullah back in the. Look at this. This is from Allah knows how long. Dar al Kitab al Arabi. This is somewhere in America. Wow. Um, this is also advanced, a little advanced book in learning uh, Arabic grammar. Tafsir uh, al a very famous tafsir. We have uh, a bunch of other books here. What is this? As uh, Let's jump on to the other section. I think, yeah. We have some books behind here, but these are small books here and there. Nothing really major. More trophies of the kiddos. Sirat Khair al Ibad, Ibn Qayyim al Jawziya. Again, uh, we have a lot of books of Ibn Qayyim. Ibn Qayyim, Rahimahullah, the student of Shaykh Salim al Taymiyyah, uh, was uh, uh, really an elaborate author. Uh, may Allah have mercy on him. Uh, then we have Sharh Riyad al Salihin, also an important uh, series. Zad al Ma'ad, also in Ibn Qayyim al Jawziya, uh, Rahimahullah. Ahkam al Jana'iz, Shaykh al Albani, a very famous book about the rulings of the funerals and the bid'ah that people have invented on Allahu Akbar. When a person dies, they, they disobey Allah in a hundred and thousand ways. And people hardly ever follow the sunnah in any culture that I've come across. Anywhere in the world. Even here, where you think people will be the closest to the sunnah, still, people, when it comes to death, somehow, some way, have a hard time adhering to the sunnah. This book is gold about showing you how to... Uh, deal with the death of a, a Muslim according to the Sunnah of the Prophet I hope and pray that when our time comes our family uh, adhere strictly to these particular uh, principles and guidelines by the Shaykh uh, Shaykh Al-Ibani Rahimahullah Again I have many of the Shuruh uh, uh, more than one Sharh for more than one book here Allahu Alam where I got these from a lot of the stuff was given but anyways these are just maybe old CDs and old DVDs well, this is what it is. These are the Kalima DVDs. You know, we're, we've been working with... Look at that DVD. MashaAllah. 
We've been working with Kalima for a long time. Kalima is our good friend. We love them. Hopefully they love us. And uh, no bookshelf and no collection of books is complete without having a basketball and a soccer ball on top. Just so that it can remind you that there's uh, Deen and Dunya. Sa'atun wa sa'at. An hour and an hour. Yes, you can spend your whole life learning, but don't become fat in the process. Make sure that you also exercise and stay in shape. Zakumullah khair. Subhanakallah bihamdik. Shadu la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka tubu lay. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family. Uh, was this series all about just showing us the books he's collected or what otherwise? I love how neatly he said the books are and actually he's actually put the series together. Other people just put them anyhow. Also, I really can't wait to have a library of my own in my house. We used to have one when I was young, like a section where we had like plenty of books, went from war to war. But then now we do not have that. But otherwise, like he said, learn. But then don't just, don't end up getting thick in the process. Also exercise. As much as you want to learn, go out there, get fresh air as well. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.